Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answerman. Uh, next question is from Shay Stevens. Hello, Disc Golf Answerman crew. I have questions for upshots. While laying up short is sometimes preferable, I'm having a lot of trouble landing upshots 10 to 15 feet past the basket. I feel like I have some good chances to safely run upshots, but can't seem to seize the opportunity and end up short. Do you have any tips for giving shot upshots a chance to go in? Also, go Bobby beat Tony. Ooh, sucker. Team Bobby. What? Of course, he's playing wait, an event. Wait, I'm not. Yeah, I was going to say, who's uh, who's got a chance to move up now? <laughs> Dang it. Sorry, bro. Um. Okay. While running up shots. It really depends on how far of an upshot you're talking about here, Shay. Uh, if this is, you know, like an 80 or 90 foot upshot, um, I don't really have a, a great tip for you. I mean, I usually would jump putt those, and most of the time I come up short. That's a really long jump putt. But it, if an upshot was like, you know, 130 to 150 feet, I would prefer to just put it close to the basket. Yes, maybe you run it in one out of every 40 or 50 times or something like that. But probably more than that, you run it too far past the basket and um, and don't make your putt on the way back. And so on upshots, I'm generally not very aggressive. Um, if you were going to be sort of aggressive, I think you'd want to look at somebody like Greg Barsby who throws those in pretty frequently. And kind of the way he does it is it's a slightly nose-up flight with just like a soft hyzer to come into the basket. So um, I would also say, you know, if you're, if you're committed to running it, um, pick your aiming point a little bit behind the basket so that you can convince yourself you need to get it as far, like far enough to make it. But stri strategically, I'm not sure it's the best play to run every 150 footer unless there's like a great backstop behind it. You know, gotcha. I don't know, man, that's a tough one. 